Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Donal here. I hope you're all having a good day. Um, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And joining me today is, of course, my good buddy, Jonathan Fagerlund, who is a personal trainer to the stars and to all the people in Sweden. Right? Yes. You do correct. the entire nation. Yes. Yes. Nine million people. Nine million people, he covers them all. <laughs> and we're here to cook up a beautiful one pan fried rice dinner. It's got a gorgeous fluffy egg omelette. It's got kale running through it. Lots of beautiful seasoning from soy sauce and a little bit of rice wine. And best of all, it is topped off with a Taiwanese style spiced soy mince. It is spectacular, really tasty, and I hope you're gonna like it. Why is this good and why are we making this particular recipe? So our focus in this dish has been to get a good mixture between the like good carbs, the fat, and the protein. Basically has a really good ratio between those three to give you good energy that will last throughout the day, basically. Now, you have a point because when it comes to eating for energy and it comes to eating for nutrition, there, there is a little bit of a difference there. And you have a theory that no food is bad, but it's badly timed when you eat it. So technically you can have lots of food, but it depends on what you're doing and the activity that's involved, right? Exactly, so I mean, if you rather look at food as fuel rather than good or bad, then different activities takes or requires different kinds of fuel. If you have any opinions about this and you're disagreeing with us, you can check it out in the comments. Um, and it's all over to Jonathan, he'll be there manning the comments section. <laughs> anyway, let's kick this off. This recipe is super simple to make. It's based on a lot of like the fried rice recipes I would do, but we've made a veggie version um, of this kind of egg fried rice. It's a bit of a bastardization of a few recipes, but it is delicious and it's very simple to make. Uh, over to you with how to make it. So start by heating a large frying pan over medium high heat and then add one teaspoon of oil. Whisk the eggs, then sprinkle with salt and white pepper. Add the eggs to the pan and make an omelette by whisking vigorously and then allowing to set. Now, when it comes to egg fried rice, there's a few, there's basically two methods. One is this omelette method, which we're using today, where you basically make an omelette and then you slice it up. I actually think this gives you the best incorporation of egg throughout the, the rice dish. But if you wanted to keep this strictly one pan and keep it all moving, you can actually add the whisked eggs to the fried rice as you're frying it. So there's two options there. Uh, back to the business. So, remove from the pan, allow to cool, slice and set aside. For the fried rice, add more coconut oil to the pan and fry the garlic, ginger and chili until fragrant and aromatic. So the next step is adding the kale and stir frying until tender. Now if it looks like the pan is starting to look a bit dry at this point, you can take a touch of water and just loosen that out. That bit of water will actually help the kale tenderize as well, so it's never a bad thing just to add a splash. So since we're trying to do this super speedy, we put in a bit of a cheat. So we're using pre-boiled rice. But the one thing about fried rice is that it's so important to use day-old rice. Even if you're not cheating like we are here, make sure you cook your rice, store it in the fridge, and that means that when you go to fry it, it doesn't overcook. It means that it won't clump together. So if you're making this recipe, it is imperative that you use cold cooked rice. Back to the recipe. You add the soy sauce, the rice wine, and a pinch of white pepper, and then cook until completely coated. Add the eggs back to the pan, stir through until warm. Right, so this bit is a little bit different. Normally, essentially at this point, we have your egg fried rice and it's ready to go, but we're making this a little bit more protein packed. We're gonna use these meatless crumbles, which I don't use too often, but you're a vegetarian, you use them, them quite often. Are they good in this particular recipe? They are excellent in this recipe, and speaking as a vegetarian, I tend to use these when I want to keep something really simple. You know all those meaty dishes that you had as a kid growing up? Mm -hmm. Now this is your way to incorporate your vegetarianism into those dishes. So okay. it's uh, like super easy if you want to well, make any, any sort of lasagna or stuff like that. I love incorporating vegetarianism into my life in general, <laughs> so that's always a good thing. So you start by adding more coconut oil to the pan and fry the garlic, chili and ginger. Fry until it's lovely and aromatic, and then add the soy mince. Keep cooking until it's heated through, and then add soy sauce, rice wine, and a pinch of five spice and white pepper. Now, that's pretty much it. So go ahead and serve this over the rice, garnished with coriander leaves. Right, that is it. We have a beautiful bowl of fried rice, those beautiful spiced pork on top, except it's not pork, it's vegetarian soy crumbles. <laughs> But I, all in all, like I mean, that looks like a fantastic dish of food. And I can tell you, even just by the smell of it, it smells spicy and it smells fragrant and really beautifully aromatic. So will we try some? We will. This was this idea of having the um, pork on top or the soy pork on top um, was mine. This was not an addition you were thrilled about, but mm -hmm. I think this will work. Mmm. It's very good. Wow. Are you getting that spice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we use those like tiny Thai chilies and they're super hot. Mm -hmm. I think I possibly shouldn't have used three of them. <laughs> probably I probably should have only done the one. Sort of agreeing on that. Guys, 
a super simple protein pack. I feel like, can you tell us why this is a really good meal and when you would suggest that we would eat something like this? So basically this entire meal has less than 500 calories in it, the way we cooked it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a really good and clean source of protein, uh, both from the soy mints and the eggs. Uh, you can also use the corn versions or the soy-free versions of mints if you're not into soy. It's got the rice, which is a really good carbohydrate if you're going for a workout or if you just have been working out. And I mean, the, the kale and the veggies speak for themselves, really. Yeah, no, I think it's, it's jam-packed and the beauty of an egg fried rice is that you can throw any vegetable you like into it. Once it's nice and thinly sliced, it goes straight in there and you can basically use up the contents of whatever might be left over in your fridge because that's what I always do with fried rice. <laughs> Even the saddest looking veggies you can bring alive in a dish like this. And it really does look gorgeous. And by adding those little touches of like rice wine and soy, um, the Szechuan peppercorns or, or five spice, you really get fragrance and aromatic in there. Now, if you want to get your hands on this recipe, we will leave a link in the box below, which will bring you over to my website, which you'll get all the details there. Make sure you go over and check out Johnny. Uh, will we leave a link to your website or the app or what's the best thing to do? I'd say to my Instagram and my website. I warn you, if you go over to his Instagram, it's like soft porn. So be prepared. It's parental guidance. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how, ma how many Christ. photos you can have of yourself in underwear. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, go check him out. His app is launching very soon. Hopefully, we will have some more healthy recipes like this coming your way, all approved by personal trainer Jonathan Fagerland. And if there's any particular healthy twists on recipes you'd like to see, make sure you leave a comment in the box below and we will do our best to deliver. Okay, guys, we will leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed this. Make sure you let us know in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. See ya. Right, that is it. We have. Have? <laughs>